like a scene from a century ago, but filmed on smartphones. Hundreds of people stormed Dagestan's main airport, shouting anti-Semitic slogans, looking for Jews. Many make it to the tarmac, running to a plane that arrived from Israel. Crew members order passengers back into the cabin. Outside the terminal, others surround a passenger checking his passport to see where he's from. Dagestan's health ministry says 20 people were injured, although it's unclear who they were. Dagestan is a semi-autonomous Muslim-majority republic in Russia's North Caucasus. In another part of that region, a Jewish centre under construction was set on fire over the weekend. Isn't this something that our like grandparents um, told us stories about, with hundreds of people running around looking for the Jews to harm? Renan Levine says it's particularly difficult to watch because so many North American Jews have roots in the former Russian Empire, where attacks against Jews were common in the 1800s. Historically, Jews have lived in the region for a very, 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 very long time. Caucasus expert Harold Chambers says pro-Palestinian rallies had been banned before Sunday's riot. There's still, frankly, a lot of questions up in the air as to what, how everything was allowed to get as bad as it was. But the fact that the police didn't really intervene is uh, a se- serious issue. Police later made 60 arrests. Russian President Vladimir Putin said Ukraine and the West played a role in organizing the mob, something Kyiv denies. The Russian leader has also blamed the West for the current conflict in Israel and Gaza, and he invited Hamas leaders to Moscow last week. That and the events in Dagestan have caused concern in Israel that the world's largest country could be drifting toward a new outlook on the Middle East. Redmond Channel Global News, London.